It is great to be back in Tampa. Thank you for coming out. I, uh, I performed here many times. Occasionally, I will perform in a city I've never been. I did a show in Rochester, Minnesota. I'd never been, so I asked my cab driver, I was like, is there anything I should know about Rochester? And he said, oh, yeah, we got a really cool bell tower. And I thought, oh, wow, so there's nothing. <laughs> but I tried to be polite. <laughs> I was like, oh, bell tower, interesting. And he's like, yeah, I can take you there. And I was like, eh, it's all right. I, I don't want to overstimulate myself. <laughs> yeah, I, I just heard a bunch of bells in Starbucks, so I'm good. <laughs> of course, there was a time when a bell tower was interesting. And not only that, there was a time when a bell, a bell was cutting edge technology. From a historical standpoint, not that long ago. Not that long ago, back in the day, if a person was walking to his town, someone might be like, you're going to this town? Well, get ready, because believe it or not, this town has a bell. And back then, that person might have been like, a bell, what's that? And then someone would have to explain. They'd be like, well, it's kind of hard to describe. It's this metal thing kind of shaped like a bell. <laughs> it rings its magic. There was a time when bells were new, which means there were people that were resistant, suspicious, I don't trust that bell. When they ring it, I cover my ears. I don't want the government harvesting my DNA. No thank you. There are probably people worried about the effects the bell would have on children. You know, Kids are already distracted. Now they're ringing that damn bell every hour. Soon kids won't even be able to read a sundial. Mark my word, kids have become addicted to these bells. We'll have to limit their bell time. I like how some of you are looking at me like, now he's doing bell jokes? I didn't know it would get this edgy. The amazing thing is, you know there's one person in this audience that's like, I'm offended. I came to hear comedy, not some anti-bell tirade. My family's been making bells for generations. Our business barely survives the pandemic, and then this fat starts bad-mouthing bells during peak bell season, I might add. But does he care? No, he doesn't care. He's just some balding idiot in his early 20s. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to distract from the fact he's off being good-looking. I'm sure that's not what all of you think. There's so many types of bells. Oh, you thought that was the end of the bell jokes. I decide for whom the bell tolls. <laughs>